Shell was 11 years old when she was separated from her family. The circumstances very different from the undocumented children at the border, but the effects likely the same. I left my home when I was really young, but it still affects me to this day. So, you know, these children, they're, they're being traumatized. There's no other way about it. You know, you're ripping them away from their family. Shell says she had a traumatic childhood, moving around a lot, taken away, put into foster care. With these kids coming in and not understanding English, kids can still understand emotions and intent and, you know, tone. Clark Romans, executive director of NAMI, the National Association of Mental Illness in Southern Arizona, says mental illness is a combination of two factors, genetics and environment. So these impacts coming to young children are have the great potential to trigger the latent or potential mental illnesses. Mental illnesses such as post-traumatic stress disorder and depression. Romans says the separations of a child from their parent is traumatic enough because of the intense conditions. The child, first of all, is and their parents are in a place that uh, is not really quiet and friendly. It's hostile. It's perhaps noisy. Uh, a lot of emotions going around. So it's a scary situation for the child, for the parents as well. The child not knowing what's happening or if they will ever be reunited with their families. That kind of activity, uh, you know, in that kind of setting will constitute uh, perhaps a physical, but perhaps more of an emotional uh, trauma to the child. And while the symptoms of mental illness often takes years to arise, the effects are lifelong. Jennifer Martinez, Kega 9, on your side.